Hi, my name is Dong, and I'm an animator based in Japan. Today, let's delve further into the world of anime compositing in After Effects. I recommend seeing the part one of the series beforehand, as this video builds on top of what we have learned over there. Like always, the project files I will use will be provided in the link below, so follow along. And like last time, we will be using some third-party plugins, F's plugins and the OLM Smoother plugin. I have already set up our scene, and here is our render comp with the final framing. Then we have our camera comp where our camera work goes and where our other effect go. And then we have a comp with the cell layer and the BG as well as where our layout goes. Then we have another comp with the A cell animation layer with an anti-aliasing effect created with the OLM Smoother plugin. And lastly, we have our animation cell in its own comp with the BG keyed out. A common effect you see in anime is the repainting of the main black line of the animation cell with a lighter color. To do that, let's copy and paste the animation cell layer to duplicate it. Then on the top layer, find the F's Select Color plugin and drag that in. Then we use the eyedropper tool to pick out the black color of the line and hit the checkbox to turn it on. Then we can find a fill effect, drag that in, and we can adjust the color from there. I'll use this dark brown color. Now let's do an effect where we blur out and soften the cheek color of our character. Let's go up a comp into the A effect comp and we'll turn off the anti-aliasing effect for now. Let's find the effect F's selected blur and drag that in. We'll use the color picker tool to select the red of the cheek and another one for the surrounding skin tone. Then we can set the blur value to around 50 or so. You can feel free to adjust this to your own liking. We can use this to do other effects as well, such as a soft shadow, and some anime does this thing where they blur the iris of the eye. To do that, let's drag in a new F's selected blur effect and use the eyedropper to pick out all of the colors of the eye. We can set the blur value to around 10 or so for this. You can adjust this, add or remove colors, it's up to you. A lot of MOE shows that I've worked on like Aharen Sun and To Love Ru have this gradient effect on just the hair. To do this, let's duplicate the comp and we'll remove the other effects. We need to key out just the hair, so let's find the F's selected color effect and eyedropper all the colors of the hair. This includes the main hair color, the shadow, the secondary shadow, reflected light, and the same for the highlights. With everything selected, we turn everything on to isolate the hair. Then we find the gradient ramp effect and drag it in. We can adjust the endpoints to further customize our effect. Then we can set the color mode to soft light to get that gradient effect. We can then click on the stopwatch to create keyframes. We want to match the gradient up with the movement of the character. Find where the key drawings are and adjust the handle so that the gradient stays consistent throughout the scene. The next effect we will add is this glow that some shows have on the highlights in the eyes for example. To get that working, we need to duplicate our drawing and delete the other effects. We want to key out just the highlight of the eye, so let's drag in F's Select Color plugin and pick out that color, and enable the effect. Then we set the blending mode to Add, and let's find the glow effect and drag it in. We can then adjust the options. I can increase the glow radius to make the glowing part larger, and lowering the glow threshold gives us a brighter glow, so I'll lower that a bit to around 50% or so. The glow intensity option affects the overall strength of the effect, but I'll just leave that on 1 here. We can repeat this effect for the reflected light and that little spot on the bottom of the iris too. Just copy the layer, 
adjust the selected color, and adjust the glow effect. With that done, let's do some lighting for our character. I went through this step pretty extensively in the last video, so check that out if you haven't already. In short, we create a variety of gradients, setting the alpha mat as our animation cell, and using the various blending modes, mostly multiply and soft light, we can add some directional lighting to our scene. With that done, we can re-enable our anti-aliasing effect and move on to the BG plus cell comp. I want to add a bokeh effect to the BG, so let's drag in the fast box blur effect and set it to a value of 7 or so. Other than that, let's add some extra lighting effect with some gradients and maybe add a little flare effect. Again, see my previous video on this where I talk about it in detail. Moving on to our camera comp, let's do some color correction. Find the Lumetri color plugin and drag it in. Let's lower the contrast a bit, maybe to around minus 45. And under creative, we can use a look template. There's a bunch here, so feel free to play around with them. For me, I like to use the Fuji Eterna 250D Fuji 3510 look. A lot of anime uses this, like uh, Mushoku Tensei for example. We can adjust the intensity of the effect to maybe around 75. Another common effect on more dramatic anime is a film grain effect. We can do this by dragging in or creating a new adjustment layer and enable it. We add a Gaussian blur effect at a value of around 2. Then let's add the add grain effect. Let's set the viewing mode to final output, then let's lower the size to around 0.5. Under application, I like to lower the shadows to around 0.25 and the highlights to 0.2. Under animation, we can lower the speed to around 0.2. Then let's add a channel blur effect. This lets us blur and adjust the individual red, green, and blue color channels. Let's set the red blurriness to 0.5 and green to 1. Finally, let's add a noise effect. We can set the amount to around 3%. We can then select the adjustment layer, hitting T to bring up the opacity, and we can lower it to adjust it if needed. It feels a bit too strong at the moment, so let's set it to around 50%. Finally, let's add that anime filter we had created in the last video. So drag that in, enable pass-through, and let's lower the opacity, again to around 50%. And there we go. Let's go into our render comp and check out our scene. Looks great, eh? Obviously, adjust these effects to your own liking. Getting a unique look to your scene can really push a good scene into being a great one. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks to everyone who is supporting the channel on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, links are down below. Patrons get some unique content to them every month, including unreleased videos and my files from various anime I've worked on. Other than that, check out my social media, my Twitter, and my Instagram. Have a great day.